G'day friends, welcome to today's YouTube video. My name is James, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today, I'm just gonna be going so raw, so real, so emotional, so vulnerable. Um, I'm gonna be talking about my journals, where they're at now. It's been a couple of months since I've checked in with you about my journal setup. I kind of like doing these more often because I think uh, throughout history, I've kind of just assumed that you've known what I've been picking up and what I've been putting down at any given moment, but you would probably have to follow my Instagram really, really closely to figure that out. So I figured that if I just make videos every couple of months, you can kind of see what's going on and what changes, because I do change a lot. I change all the time. There are some things that will be constant and remain constant, but then other things come and go. Like I think since the last time I spoke to you, these two have come and gone. I mean, they'll come back, but uh, yeah, like so random things like this, I feel like, well, if I don't show you now, when will you see it? Never. So, let's get into it. Uh, the thing that stays around forever and ever, amen, is, of course, the five-year journal. And I will say I put my Hobonichi order in, what, last week? Very excited. Going to keep that a secret until it gets here. It's not huge, but it is, it's nice. I'm, I'm happy with what I got, and I think it'll be nice to use for next year. Uh, this is my five-year Hobonichi, my little Astro Boy A6. The red cover five years. We're up to year number four, so we've only got next year, and then this one's officially done. I don't know if you remember me saying earlier this year I wanted to make sure that there was at least something on every right-hand page. That has not happened. So I feel like at some light stage, I'm going to have to go through and just do little... I mean, not, not have to, but when I feel the urge to just scribble something, I think I should pick this up and start scribbling in it. I meant to do that, but then I another journal comes in, and then that becomes the thing I scribble in, so I'm going to have to really uh, keep this at my desk. The point of keeping things at my desk is that it, then I will use it. This, even if it goes just beyond arm's reach up towards my wall, I kind of store it just over there. Um, that's how I get behind it as well. I'm literally, I think at this point, I'm seven days, not seven days behind. There's a chunk of seven days that I missed. <laughs> it's a week. I don't know what, what happened. It's back here. It's like really, really recent as well. I don't know what happened to make me miss the week, but I'm current. Like I'm up to today, but then there's a week that I missed. So... That's going to have to be resolved, obviously, as soon as possible, if not before. Anyway, I'm really excited about it. I've added some extra things in here. Oh, my, my niece and nephew are getting so much bigger, so much older. Um, so I've been adding things in there. But for my birthday, I actually went back. This is so nice. Love this. I went back and added portraits that I've had each of my birthdays since this started. I didn't actually have one in, when I was I turned 29. Steve didn't he wasn't really doing his photography that often back then, so that wasn't something we did. But when I turned 30, he did this one for me. I believe this was already in the journal. So I went back in and added 31, which I did have a photo shoot for. It was that really stupid um, gelatoni on gelatoni theme. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but I loved it. And then 32, Steve did me this whole photo shoot as well. So I can't wait. Can't wait to see what 33 is. I'm assuming something absolutely humongous and extravagant. Although I might have to tip it in on this, which, you know, I have not tipped in anything in here. Yes, I added stickers and washi and things like that and glued ephemera to the paper, but nothing thick and I've never actually added a tip in. I feel like that would be the only exception I'd make is for a 33-year-old portrait here. Or I could just put them in here, it doesn't matter. Like, that's from that thing as well. But yeah, and then I have this little space to add what 32 was like. Anyway, that is my five-year journal. Still love it. Still one of my favorites. Still coming with me in the house fire that, fingers crossed, never actually happens. <laughs> but yeah, that, that is tried and true. The other one that's constant, my Hobonichi Weeks. I can't give you too many looks at this because what if I give away all the secrets? There aren't actually that many secrets at this point. I think you're all pretty current with what I'm planning and what I hope to achieve at some late stage. But this is ever since I got in it. You can see I just add random bits of junk, lots of Collage Club uh, ephemera in here. Job's journal, his free printable, that was really generous, love that. Lots of stickers, memes, extra prints, a lot of these are print pages from my photo journal that either the printing stuffed up or I just had extra room on the paper, so I make a double, and usually I put the double in my five-year journal, but then sometimes there's extra room still, so I make a triple version, so it goes in here. <laughs> it's like documented in three places. Places? Places. Wow. What was that? Sorry, my brain just checked out. But we're current in this as well. This is where we're at. Lovely. You'll be seeing this video on the 9th, Friday. Uh, this is why I'm doing it now. I mean, I always kind of do it earlier. Sometimes I leave it to Friday, but that's rare. 
uh, I have a whole day at Disneyland on Friday, which I'm really excited about. Can you see? There's my little name tag. Um, okay, planner, love that. Hobonichi Weeks Galen Leather Cover. I think it's like a wallet. I don't really know what this is called, but anyway, that's that. It's an insert. And I had it customized, JLB. Do you know what I realized? You know, I probably wouldn't get this again with the zip. I don't, I think they do offer a, th a slim version now. I just, I don't ever use this zip. Like, what am I supposed to use it for? And then I was thinking, sorry to go back to this. You know, I didn't use this at the start of the year. Oh, look, here are some months that have been passed so you can see how I document my, my Zumba, my green stars. Don't you just love it? Loving those green stars. Um, I wondered, because I started this late, I have all of these extra pages. Sometimes I draw in them here. Yeah. But all of these, like I said, extra prints. Should I rip these out? I was thinking nicely, like I'll get a, a ruler and just rip down here. Just because it gets bulky, like when I shut it like this, it see how it flips open, kind of sticks open like that? It's not huge and chunky, but I figured I don't need all those extra pages. And all of this at the end here as well. Like, all of these grid pages, I don't need those either. Look how many there are. I mean, it's very generous if you do need them, but I reckon I could get rid of those as well. So let me know. Should I rip them out? Should I not? A part of me thinks, don't rip them out. It's good paper. You can draw in it. You can use it later. But the reason I don't think I'll need to worry about that is because that's the exact same approach I had to this, which is my A6 Hobonichi. This was the second half of the year, the planner that I was supposed to go into because... This I've been in for about, what, 12 weeks now? Before that, I've been using Hobonichi A6 Techo for a couple years. And I really liked it. It was really working well for me, but I realized that I didn't need the daily pages as much as I did in the past because I had introduced new journals that kind of fixed a few of those uh, intentions that I had for those pages. And so then I was just left with this other half of the journal. And what I really needed was actually weekly views, which this didn't have in a way that I could um, focus on anything properly. It had monthly and daily, which is, I'm just such a weekly and monthly person. So that's that's changed, which is sad because I had this book, but now I'm using it as a notebook, like a little ideas, scribble, write it down, learn something. I've been learning some parts of like a specific type of poetry to do this daisy project. You might have seen me on Instagram live earlier this week. We were working through some, um, just some planning for daisy ween, which I'm really excited about. I'll let you know more about that when I know more about that. <laughs> but essentially I'm working on a prompts book that you'll be able to purchase and illustrate into so that when you're finished, you will have an illustrated book that you will have illustrated yourself. So we can all be children's book illustrators together. Doesn't that sound lovely? It was originally my idea way back in the day when I first did the Daisy prompts list, but I couldn't source it uh, in a way that would be feasible. So this time I figured if I just go through Amazon KDP, like uh, the direct publishing route, the drop shipping route, uh, that would be a lot more affordable and accessible for people. So I figured that would work really well. Ultimately, I don't get the choice of the paper that I would probably want, but I think we're more than uh, capable, I guess is the word, of making those special changes. You know, I was, originally I wanted it to be watercolor paper because I thought, well, then you could do all your water, lovely ink techniques. But then since I've removed the inktober aspect of it, it is kind of just a free-for-all now. And I know uh, most people watching have a few different types of supplies that should work really well on just standard papers. Having said that, I need to format it all and get it all done. That's on the agenda today. I'm supposed to do some of that formatting so that I can order some of the samples and I can have a good test of what would work better. So do you have to complete it every day in October? I don't know. Jury's out on that one still. I'm liking it as a, as a prompts list and I will... I said this to Steve, I was like, I'll put a list out there because it just only crossed my mind when he asked. He was like, is that your, your prompts list? I was like, yes, I will put a list out there that tells the whole story because it's essentially written in a very Dr. Seuss style and the 31 prompts are in the story. So I will put a version out there that doesn't require you to buy anything. This is not you have to buy into this project. There'll be a Daisy Ween that everyone can participate in. Um, but I specifically wanted the book and I want to do it on Amazon so that because uh, I found out you could have, wow, I just, I'm talking a million miles a minute. I've had two coffees today and I think it's showing. The, you can have like the Amazon KDP. If you order it in Australia, it'll come from them. And if you order it in Canada, it'll come from them. So I'm thinking it should be really affordable to get shipped to your home rather than having to, for me to order it all and then ship it out to everyone at varying prices and um, 
you know, shipping times. If it's just done through Amazon, hopefully that'll work out. I don't really know. It's the best we can do, isn't it? But yeah, this became a journal to work through ideas and things like that that aren't really, because, you know, I have my my workshop journal. That's completely separate. That's just workshop stuff. This is more like personal projects and notes. I really don't have a place to put that. And I did consider putting it in here, but I'll be completely honest. I would more, I would be less likely to ever show you anything in here or even pull this journal out if I knew it had sensitive information in here. So at least I can hide it a little easier in here. I know that this is like, oh, maybe I don't show this for a month until people know about that project. But this I pick up all the time. It's always on my desk. It's always, I feel like it always has some bit of information that someone might need to, uh, that someone might see and it might spoil a surprise. Because, um, you know, I don't just do work for myself. I do work for Art Snacks. I work for Art Jelling the Magic. So there's not things I can always just let you know that are happening. Um, so, yeah, I try not to keep sensitive information on anything that might end up in a video or in an Instagram post. Because, I, I mean, I do try my best to censor whatever needs to be censored. But there is just times where things fall through the cracks and you accidentally <laughs> put something out there. As far as I know, that hasn't really happened to me. But... I mean, I'm sure I have, and I'm sure it has, and people have just been nice enough not to ruin surprises for other people, but it just gets a lot, so I have to have those a little bit separate. If I weren't sharing online and I didn't have any of that to worry about, I don't think I'd separate all those things, but blah, 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 that's what... All of that random information you don't need to know and I drivel on about uh, is good for this video, I guess. These are two Traveler's Notebooks. Do I have another one? I swear I had another one. I think it's in a box. <laughs> I know I have another one. I think it's in here. Nope. That is Virtual Voyage 7. That one's finished. Where on earth? Excuse me for a second. I think it's in this box. It's in one of these boxes. There it is. So, these are my trusty, dusty... Traveler's Notebooks. These are two different, but I have decided to keep these charms <laughs> the same. I love these charms so much. I'm so happy I can finally have the Virtual Voyage 6 ones on there. Uh, this one is my travel journal. Let's, let's have a look. You saw this last week if you watched that video. I'm up to episode 6 in the travel journal series, and I've been loving it sick so far. This one's got less in it, so let's flip through this really quickly. We'll just do a quick flip. My art supplies, some sketches I did in Paris, Disneyland, more sketches from Paris, and this one I actually did at home for my video. So that's all in last week's video, that little spread. Love that. And then this is the actual travel journal. I did some parts of this while we were on vacation and then some, well, a lot of it I've done at home as well. So. There's just a lot going on in here. And this has been fun. Every single thing that I worked on at home has been documented in a video. So you can go back and watch through that travel journal series. You hear someone in the background, Steve's just coming home from grocery shopping. So that's nice. Just doing a quick flip. This is not like the flip to watch if you're trying to get a good view of everything that's in here. I would go back and watch some of those process videos. If you skip to the end, usually I do some close-ups, just some b-roll footage of what I get done in the video. So if you're ever looking to get a quick overview, just skip to the end of the video. Because I do ramble on. Those are real time. I mean, I'm rambling on now. Hopefully you're here for it. <laughs> but those ones are really long and chatty and real time. That's good. Love that. Oh, she's blue tacked down. The boulangerie paper. Sorry to all my French listeners watching. I love to butcher the French language. Metro. Dior. Loved that. Look at this. Oh, this is so good. On a day with shadows, there's not really sunlight out there. You can see that. There's no direct light, but it shines Dior onto here. So pretty. Look at all that glitter. And then some more photos. There's lots in here already. I'm about to start my next... Uh, my next little vlog and real-time journaling session for this is, I don't know when it's coming up, but it's taking the Eurostar to London and the Harry Potter tour. So it's going to be lots and lots of Harry Potter stuff in there because I went nuts at that tour. I know I didn't know it was that big, so got very overwhelmed and took photos of everything. 65,000 gigabytes of photos. 
This, I mean, this is pretty full, considering that we're only just getting to the Eurostar bit. And I already did the Eurostar little journaling last I was on the train. So I don't actually need to journal about that. I think it'll just be some photos. I left some space to work around there. But it's not chronological. Like, this was just an idea I had while I was um, on the train. What is this? Oh, Disney. This was the most recent one. You might have seen this last week. Love that. My washi tape string, little Pinocchio pull tab with some photos on the back. Yeah, this was fun. That drawing I did there, but then this I added when I was at home. I did this while I was at Disneyland Park waiting for Steve. Anyway, Steve and I did those one-line contour portraits of each other at the airport because we got there seven hours early. Oh, if you did Virtual Voyage 7, the full page uh, spreads, this was where that idea started. Illustrations I'm probably going to cover up. So we've still got, we've got a bit of the journal left. I hope I can fit it all in here. Look, if I can't fit it in there, I'll put it in here, but I can also add tip-ins. I definitely don't want more than these two journals to be my finished travel journal, so I might have to get creative because I've got a lot of ephemera and a lot of photos still to get in there, but that's where that is currently. Still working on that. I don't have any time this has to be finished by. This is just a, a passion project to document my trip. I love my travel journals. Those are some of my favorites to flip through. So much uh, good memory and nostalgia flipping through a travel journal. If you've never made one, just find a reason to make one. Document your travel to the grocery store. It's just so fun. <laughs> These are photo journals. They're, I'm up to my third one now. This third one's almost finished. The thing with these are, this one's got a degree of finish to it. So you can see like I've written my notes. I've got my bits and pieces in there. There's journaling. There's a few stickers sometimes. Like stickers just to like make it nice. So this is, this one I would consider finished. Then I started my second one because I, I take so many photos all the time that I'm constantly printing them out and making the spreads for them. Um, and this is, I will show you, I always say I'm going to show you these another time. Maybe I won't ever show you those. Maybe they'll just be for me forever. Um, but it was from my, it was from a very personal shoot I did. Nothing distasteful. <laughs> But a bit more of me than you're used to seeing, let's just put it that way. Um, but I love the photos and I wanted to print them out. And albeit those were the less um, the less offensive ones, I would say, for social media consumption. But I always just flip through them because I feel like today's not the day. I really need to set you up for what those photos are. Danielle did them. Do you remember Danielle, my old roommate? Our old roommate. This is Savannah, my niece, my best friend Kristen from high school. So this one at the start is pretty much finished. Like, these have got the stickers on. These are full pages that are finished, but like here, culprit, blank little space that needs to be filled. And not with anything crazy, but like a little space down here. I can just put, you know, virtual voyage mini cam shots, stuff like that. But like, this needs to be finished. And by the time I got through all of this journal with all the photos, I hadn't actually gone back and finished some of this stuff. Like, you can see it's just kind of empty. But I couldn't stop putting photos in because I had more photos that were just piling up and I had to print them and put them in a new journal. So I did start journal number three, even though journal number two wasn't necessarily finished. That's where I wanted it. Sorry, random thought. I had Jollibee uh, like cutouts from the packaging that I wanted to use for this. And I thought I had spares, so I put them in my junk journal. But they were for this. I thought I already put them in here. Turns out they're not in here. Oh, well. They're in another journal. It's okay. Look, this one's done. I did that page. <laughs> Got to finish that. So yeah, I'll hopefully come... That was the day I found out I was going to dance again. Very happy. Had to put that in there. And that was my Instagram post for the years I had spent since I was a dancer. And looking back at that, like that was, that was intense to go right back to where I stopped dancing and what that was like. And then the surgery and then staying at home for over a year and a half. And then starting my business, moving to the States, getting married, then like that just, whew, it's a lot, it's a lot of life. And then this is my third photo journal. I chose black for this one. This one's Yellow Paper House uh, company brand. Yellow Paper House, I think it's called that. 
Um, and this is a black journal. I think the photos really pop against the black. I'm going to choose a craft one for the next one, I think, actually. I think that will be really nice as well. The other two have been Croin. This was all of our Harry Potter Paris and London, the whole trip, actually. I did photos for that, just a little photo recap. That's a much easier way to see what happened uh, for people if they don't want to flip through the journal. Not that this is for anyone but me. <laughs> Look, let's be real. I just love photos so much. I want to print them out as many times as I can. So I use them uh, in here, even if I've put them six other places. But then this is all for the other random photos as well. Like um, Olivia Newton-John, poor thing, rest in peace. The Queen died today as well. So rest in peace to her. Uh, but I take random photos of, like, my reflection in the spoon when I get back from Zumba. I like to uh, document how exhausted I look. Memes. I love memes. Lots of cat photos. My Zumba ticket. Lots of... I repeat everything. It's either whatever's on my Instagram and like journaling content. Cats, Zumba, niece and nephew, food, or me looking disheveled. <laughs> or Steve in performance mode. These are the birthday portraits. This was my birthday, the actual day. And we went to see Moulin Rouge at night. That was really fun. Love Moulin Rouge. Family stuff. Memes. This is our Virtual Voyage 7 portrait. This was more recent. This was from my first day at Disneyland as a cast member. My trainings. Oh, I put this in the other day as well. This was uh, my first day. I went to go and see Steve. I went on that. I went on this thing, the Pixar Pal Around. I forget what it used to be called. Mickey's Fun Wheel. It's that big Ferris wheel one. I didn't go on the one that swings, but the one, the normal ones kind of swing a little bit too. So I was screaming my face off up the top. Much taller than you expect. <laughs> like the view from up there. I swear I could see into the next state. It was very, uh, very scary. But it was worth it, I think. Anyway, for my purposes... It's me enjoying a celery stick. This is how we found Oliver the other day. He put himself in there. I don't even know how he got into there. It looks so funny. Savannah in a little tutu. I got a fresh haircut. Zumba. See, Zumba cats, art supplies. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same photo. It's going to be 17 journals of the same photos when I'm finished. But I love these. These are all traveler's notebook inserts. And these are my photo journals. And I just think it's a great... Uh, it's a great thing to have lots of dedicated space just for photos. I don't try to make them art journals. Obviously, I'm not really doing any drawing or illustrating or painting in them. But I do kind of use my stationery. I put my little stickers, my little notepads in there just to, you know, me it up a little bit. But ultimately, just for photos. And I love printing them large. I print them all on sticker paper as well. So that's why there's no messy glue marks. Because usually I would ruin everything with a messy glue mark. These books are kind of companions to that. These are sticker sticker release books. So these are all just full of stickers that I can use when I'm doing my photo journals. So I like to keep those in there as well. It's quite chunky. I'm going to have to put that first journal that's finished on display because I don't need that in there anymore. But this is a big chunky monkey book and I love it. And these journals, these are from 2017. So these are like five years old. These are very pliable now. And uh, really, really beautiful to feel. I put lots of patches on there too. That one is there. I have this cover out for some reason. It's just my other Mina Peronen cover. I've stopped entering those lotteries. I've just decided to give that up as a collection. Even though I still do love them. <laughs> it's just a very expensive collection. And I don't like the... The Weeks version is a pouch. And I don't really want a pouch. I just like the covers. This is a little notebook I take to Disneyland with me. I don't think it's exclusively for Disneyland, but that seems to be the only place I've taken it. And I just draw in here as I go through the park, just for something to do. A little pocket size notebook in a traveler's notebook, pocket size with this Mickey Mouse patch. Love that. I never really get to use this one. It used to be my Purikura passport, but I figured this, I would just chop and change them out whenever I needed to use it. This one I'd get more use out of than my little sticky pics. And then these, these will be the last things I guess I'll show you because this is typically, uh, this is only comes out when I do Art Journaling the Magic, really, but those are all the other journals that I'm currently in. Am I in anything else? Oh, my trash! Sorry, see, if it's not here, I won't show you. This is my garbage journal, number two. I'm ready for number three, because this one is full of junk. 
really happy with my collection there. I feel like such a, like an organized hoarder. <laughs> like a hoarder, but it's not a problem. <laughs> a hoarder that doesn't need an intervention. Uh, these are Golden Book Journals from Art Journaling the Magic. You can actually buy these Golden Book Journals on, I think it's journalingthemagic.com. And journaling with one L. I think Australians and British spell it with two L's. Is that correct? I've always spelled it with two L's, but ever since I moved to the state, I only use one L now. But journaling the magic, one L. Dot com. These are golden book journals. Canson watercolor paper. Really love it. Very standard student grade cold press watercolor paper, but I'm so used to it. It's kind of like, you know, the thing you get used to, it might not be the best thing in the world, but uh, you're comfortable and familiar with it. So that's how I feel about it. And it's also affordable. You can kind of run through it and not feel like you're, you know, I don't want to say wasting because it's not the right way to say it, but sometimes you do feel like that. You feel like I'm only going to scribble this out. I don't want to do it on a piece of paper that cost me $2 per sheet. Like there's just, that's just the reality of it. I'm not that, even if I did have that money, I don't think I would try and spend money like that. <laughs> so uh, for me, it's just a lot more uh, palatable to be drawing carefree on like a student grade watercolor paper. It's still really nice. I think it works amazing, but yes, there are more expensive watercolor papers out there. But for all of this, this is just fun and play and art journaling the magic. This was from our, what was, this was the summer retreat. I don't know exactly when this happened. I think July. There should be a date on here somewhere, somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere? Yeah, sure. Say it twice. That'll make sense. No, I have no idea. See? I put dates on everything the last workshop because I think I already found this was my problem before. I don't date anything. This should be dated. <laughs> Why is this not dated? Anyway, some are lessons that I teach, some are lessons that I am taught by Art Drilling the Magic teachers. I taught this Lemon Wedge Princess and this uh, kind of cross-section Lemon Mickey. And then I did some little concept work for a lesson I wanted to teach at the most recent retreat, which was a fairy good time, the fall retreat online. And we did fairies. I love this, like Mary Blair-esque fairy. There's someone else I was trying to, um, I think Erte. So I was finding the inspiration for how this style has been developing. And there's a lot of inspirations I've been playing with lately. Uh, Yoshitomo Nara is one of them. Mary Blair always. Tim Burton, In and Out, Seasonal. And then Erte, I didn't realize was one of my inspirations as well that I've been pulling from. And it's a very specific thing that happens in the shoulder to the head and around into that P face. If you've been doing my workshops and you've heard about that P face thing, which I need a better name for, um, <laughs> but the P face look, it's, it comes from Erte as well. And then the other one, I think it's Shirley Bassett. No, Shirley Beckett. I think it's Shirley Beckett. Sheila Beckett. Oh goodness. Sheila Beckett. That's a new one for me that I've been enjoying since Steve brought back some of his uh, books from childhood. She was the illustrator for some of those. So She's been someone that I've been looking into and been enjoying. But this was the most recent one, the Fairy Good Time workshop. And so this has mostly just got fairies in here. A mixture of uh, Art Drilling the Magic one-line contour lessons. This is Castle. I've been using body glitter. That body glitter I used for Virtual Voyage 7. I got it and put it just on here. It will come off if you really scrub at it, but for the most part it stays. I just really love it. I love glitter. Anyway, these won't be full flips. I intend to flip, you know, all of my journals when they get finished, really, but I think it's much... Um, I prefer, like, talking through the journals, but I, whenever I flip them, I always film a non-chatty version as well, and it just becomes a whole thing, so I haven't flipped journals in a while, but I'll try and look for some that I've finished and hopefully get on flipping those soon, because I have a whole playlist of journals that I've flipped before, but a lot of them are from a long time ago, and these ones that are more current, I feel like are more interesting to look at. Oh, no, I don't actually, that's a lie. I think the old ones are really interesting to look at. It's interesting to look at because you contrast what's going on now with what happened back then, like the journey. The ones, that, maybe that's why I get a little disillusioned by some of the stuff that's current because I'm still in that process of exploring it all. And it's only when I move on to the next thing, do I look back at all of this and think, oh yeah, that's where all this came from. Now that suddenly looks really interesting because it's a part of the process. But once I'm, st if I'm still exploring it, it doesn't seem like I'm on that other end of resolve yet that makes it super interesting.
I do love these, those. I think these are really whimsical. And that was to the point of the Mary Blair, Sheila Beckett, Yoshi Tomonara, and Erte being a whole bunch of random inspiration that just seems to be kind of culminating in a really fun style that I'm enjoying. And they're only random things that I, I feel inspired by from each. Mary Blair I feel like an overall inspiration from, but just because I say that name doesn't mean you're necessarily going to see exactly where it came from, but I know what part of that I got from learning from that artist. And so that's why I feel like saying it, because I know it does come from there, even if, you know, 16 versions down the line you don't really see it, I'll know that somewhere along the process that inspiration really helped me get to that point, if that makes sense. Anyway, more glitter. I'll just distract you with glitter until I find something else to talk about. <laughs> I really could talk about journals forever, couldn't I? With 30 minutes on, five years later, here we are still flipping through these journals, talking about things I like. Hopefully you like it too. I'm assuming you're, you're here. If you're still here at 30 minutes in, you might like journaling too. But yeah, really loving this. It's kind of whimsical. I would say it's more of an, a careful Mary Blair approach. Mary Blair looks so much more free and intuitive and expressive than the way I do it. And I just put that down to skill. It's like, she's such an amazing skill. This was a line, one line contour of the castle, Disneyland castle, but I did it with my left hand. I did it with my eyes closed. So left hand blind and I turned the book upside down. So when I saw the outline of it, I thought it doesn't look like anything. <laughs> So I turned everything into just, I don't know, little creatures or versions of things, like the little fairies. I turned her into a little fairy down here. This looked like a shoe in some trousers. She looked like a ballerina. This one looked like a, a, a bird, a galah, cockatoo. This was a lizard. That was Hey Hey from Moana. And yeah, that's everything in that. So those are the Golden Book Journals, and I have tons of these with so much in them. I really, I really should make an effort to finish a couple of them and flip them. I think I have a couple that are finished that I haven't flipped, so who knows, maybe we can look forward to that sometime soon. But this is me for this week. Hopefully you've enjoyed that chat, my little check-in with what I'm still using, what I've been using, what I will continue to use, what might jump in or jump out at some point in the process. It's always chopping and changing, but this is everything I'm pretty committed to right now. There's no real big art journal in here. I think as far as the art goes, I was doing it all in my golden book journals, but it was a big period of teaching and workshops this past couple of months. So maybe I will, by the next time, have, uh, you know, one of my art journals, my Strathmore Mixed Media Journal, you know, shoved back in here because I'll be working through that or something in more of a down, not a downtime, but more of a personal season of art journaling. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, hope you had a good time. Thanks for joining me in this video. I will see you around on social media, wherever I see you. Have a wonderful day or weekend or whenever you're watching it. Until then, bye.